Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast I want to show you about a new feature that you can use in your application. It's not a new feature in the NetBeans platform as such. However, um, it's a typical feature that you need to have. We will use the Movie Analyzer application that you can find on Java.net, Projects, NB API samples with hyphen sources, API samples, show version 7.1 courses, movie analyzer. You can check it out via the checkout URL and that will be our starting point for the application. It shows a node hierarchy with different kinds of nodes even on the same level. But the point is what we want to do in this uh, screencast is add a menu item called new movie and when that new movie menu item is clicked a wizard will pop up and there will be multiple steps and at the end you click finish and that movie will be saved into your database or whatever you have in the back end and the node hierarchy will be updated to display your new movie node. Let's do that. To get started we'll create a new wizard for creating the new movie. It will be a custom wizard because it will not create a new file so it will not need to be registered in the new file dialog. It will be static, it will have one page and it will be used for creating a new movie. And we'll call it new movie. So this will be called new movie wizard and it will be found in a new package called wizards. There will be multiple different wizards ultimately in this application. Here we have our action which will invoke the wizard as you can see new wizard descriptor will pop up our um, new movie visual panel which is registered here. So this is the panel that will be shown. And here we see at the top annotations for actions. And these actions as always annotations will at compile time result in the registration of our action into the file system. It will be in the file menu and there will be a, in the category file within the actions folder and we will say here create new movie. Now let's start up the application again. It's still running. Close it down. Start it up. And here we see file create new movie. Okay. When finish is clicked we want a movie saved somehow into a database or whatever on the back end but we want this to be updated, this node hierarchy which is the point of this exercise. So I'm going to close everything else. Ultimately we're going to have UI co uh, created inside this panel that will be shown to the user but for the moment we're just going to hard code a new movie in here and once we've done that just to check whether or not our functionality works before creating some UI. Okay, uh, let's cr copy this whole bunch. So this um, via code creates a new movie. Let's have a look and we'll minimize this. So the data model is um, every movie has multiple actors and a director and every actor has multiple mansions where they live. Remove a couple of the other mansions so we'll leave one list of actors and we'll leave one movie. Okay there we go. Let's see so um, the movie's name will be well, let's say the movie is Top Gun here we go, it's called Top Gun and we'll change this to Top Gun Movie and Top Gun has some actors Top Gun actors and one of them is definitely Tom Cruise and I think the other one was Melanie Griffiths I believe so these are the actors. Can't remember who the director was, but we'll leave that one as it is. And I'm sure Tom Cruise has mansions in Palm Beach and Hollywood, so we can leave those mansions unchanged. Okay, so we've hard-coded a new movie. 
now that we have this new movie, we need to put it somewhere so that our node hierarchy can find it. And to that end, we can use a very nice lookup called Central Lookup, which was created by Wade Chandler. And it, you can find it in different places on the web. One of them is in my blog. It's a very nice handy lookup, which is little more than a map and in addition it is observable. That's the magical thing. So we're going to observe changes to this map from our child factories that create the nodes. Create a new class, call it central lookup. Ultimately this should really be in a um, utilities module but for the moment we'll just put it into utilities package. There we go. Central lookup and paste all of this in. bunch of Java doc comments that are not so well formed in my blog, so we'll just com um, delete them. Don't really need them anyway. Delete all of this stuff. And here we go. Here it is. Okay, central lookup. Ready to be used. Central lookup. Get default add and we want to add there a Top Gun movie. Top Gun movie. Now our node hierarchy needs to be listening to that particular lookup, to the central lookup, not to the lookup of a particular top component, not to the applications lookup, not to a node's lookup, instead to the central lookup. And whenever there is a new movie in there, which in this case will simply be when a new when we click the finish button which will create our new Top Gun movie. And um, at that point we want our node hierarchy to be updated. So let's see. In our movie viewer top component, which is the UI containing our explorer view, you can see we have our controller and here we have set root context set to the set to a root node. So this is the model being set on the Explorer Manager which is the controller that the bean tree view finds by looking up the component hierarchy. Um, the root node um, defines its own children which are movie children defined by the movie child factory. In the movie child factory we're going to make a very small change which is that it's this factory is going to get its that the nodes that it creates, not as it is right now, hard-coded in the create keys, but instead from a lookup. So we're going to listen to the lookup, to a particular lookup. Um, so once we start having implement lookup listener, we need to implement the result changed, which is the place where we say when there is a new movie in the lookup, we haven't subscribed to a particular movie, or we haven't subscribed to a particular lookup to its movies yet, but once you've done that, um, we're going to refresh in the result change. So this is the result change is a notifier. We say refresh true, which means that create keys will be called all over again. Here, we are not going to create this in the create keys. Instead, all of this we're going to create in the constructor. So this will be created once. Um, we imagine that we need to have a couple of movies in there even without there being a database connection for some reason. Maybe it's just some test data. Look up, get default and add to it. Um, uh, look up, get default. Ah, oh, sorry, not look up but central lookup. Central lookup. Get default add. So we'll add all of, for each of these we will have the same thing. There will be three movies in the lookup, in this specific lookup, and so at the time when this is this particular class is constructed, we want to have a add notify and a remove notify to start and stop our actual listening process. So override the method add notify and remove notify. There they are. We will have a result object. Look up result 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 
equals and um, central lookup. So now we are subscribing to the central lookup and we're saying all movie classes, so all instances of this movie class that we um, are interested in, whenever there's a new one of those, we want to be notified. So here we start listening. And here we stop listening. Whenever a new movie enters into that lookup, automatically the result change method will be called. So what happens when the result change method is called? You can see refresh. Refresh means call correct keys. So here we say for movie and we can get again from the central lookup. We can say get default and we get in there. Um, oh no, we don't get it from the central lookup, but we have a result object, right? So here is our result object. So we're going to instead query our result object, all instances, and each of the instances will be a movie object. So here we go. All instances. And let's see what we get from here. Extends movie. Oh, and this was going to be called movie. So we can add these to the list. List add a new movie. Or what's even nicer is that we can say list add all. So everything found inside of this result object are going to be movies. All of them we add to this list. So this is whenever there's a new movie. And for each of them, create node for key will be called to create the movie node. Okay, so actually we should be done right now. Let's see. Run the application. It starts up. Okay, it shows our movies. We create a new movie. And I click finish. And then you can see Top Gun. Top Gun is added. Well, that's done. So if we create another new movie, so right now we should see another Top Gun being added. So we have two now. Now what we can do is actually create some UI in here. So let's say for example uh, movie here is text field so we empty this movie text field so there we go here is new movie uh, what we're doing now is just basically plain old um, wizard stuff so I'm going to refer to the tutorial because I don't know this stuff off by heart let's see platform netbeans.org and all documentation here is the wizard tutorial wizard module, module tutorial and here we can see how to implement all of this and let's see Aha, uh -huh, this is the point. Here we go. Wizard panel class. Uh, let's see. So in the visual panel, we need to be able to pass out this information. So we say name field. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see. Movie name field. So here is the movie name field. So let's start out by returning this information. And 
maybe this one for later. This will be movie name field. Get movie name field. Okay. The next um, in the wizard panel, we need to retrieve that information. So the content. We have read settings and we have store settings. So here we go. This is in the store settings. And um, let's see. This will give us whiz put property and this will be new movie new movie visual panel one we get the component from it and from that we get the movie name field and we say movie name so this this class here the the wizard panel is a controller class between our visual panel and the action. Yeah, we have the movie name that we so we get the movie name from our visual panel. And the final step is as you can see here in the action is that we need to retrieve that movie name from the wizard descriptor. Therefore we go inside here and let's get the movie name. Uh, so string name And get this from the wizard. Get property movie name. So at least our movie name is going to be defined by something that the user types in. So this is just a starting point. Let's run the application again. And we should see again the first three created because those were hard-coded, so now we define our own. So let's say some other movie. We can press enter or click finish. There is some other movie created. So let's do it again. Create new movie and another movie. Click finish and there you can see. So what we've done is we've created a um, a create new movie menu item which calls up a wizard and when you click finish the new movie that's created by this wizard is added to the central lookup to which the child factory that creates this whole node hierarchy is listening and when a new movie enters into that lookup it automatically refreshes the node hierarchy and let's see if I have Leonardo DiCaprio selected I create a new movie blah blah press enter you can see Leonardo DiCaprio is still selected um, I, I haven't changed the selection or anything although that could be done as well but you can see that this is just added to the end of the list that's it that was the point of the screencast I hope you learned something from it and that you can apply this to your own applications